Hey, welcome back. And uh, let me tell you, uh, <laughs> um, I'm a big fan of this song. So if you're looking for like uh, tomorrow belongs to nobody breakdown reaction blah blah blah, you should go someplace else to find that. I'm sure someone's gonna do it better. I have a kind of a disturbing dark topic that we're gonna talk about, and I figured I'd use Carcass because even though I only care for Swan Song, um, I know what their prior material is all about, and uh, their their existence covers my topic. So, without further ado, let's check some of this song out first. Okay, make sure I got control and tell me, Dad, whoa, you want that? I just, so I like the tone on this album, the sound. It, it's just, oh. If I could just have like a couple other albums reproduced with this band and this tone and vocals and everything, because it's it's heavy as fuck, but I can understand every second of it. It's just it's just the best. I just okay, let's go. Cause you know what? Tomorrow fucking belongs to nobody. This fucking does the pinch harmonics there. That it's just fucking bad. I think that's what that is. Yeah, I think so. For tomorrow and tomorrow never comes i think about the cult that way um uh in our household we have long understood you can't comply your way out of tyranny or control so you know um i, I moved you know i mean i lived in a lefty state and i moved a year before it even locked down and now the state i live in kind of was going that way but they uh they found out what that got them, and I believe they're heading back the other direction. I believe a bunch of surprise subpoenas dropped in my state in the last couple of days. And uh, the, the big lie that some people like to say um, makes me crazy seems more and more likely every day. But when... Um, the, the same people that think they're going to rule tomorrow's world definitely control the media today. It's tough to get, you know. What happens in Racine County, I guess, stays in Racine County right now. But, man, I'd be pissy if that was my grandma doing that. If she didn't know my name no more, but she voted for communists. 
instead but she couldn't she couldn't talk to her sons and her grandkids and her daughter <coughs> no they couldn't communicate with grandma for two years no but man could she vote democrat it's weird how that shit happened uh so i'm not sure who tomorrow belongs to and then um but we're gonna make it all we're gonna put it all in one package then finish the song maybe uh and uh, so here's my here's my dilemma. This wasn't about politics. It's actually about the death of my cat yesterday. I had to put my cat down. He uh, he diminished quickly over um, a couple weeks, and it's it's horrible because like at the beginning Christmas we uh, he was still kicking, doing all right. Um, he got the hyperthyroid for the cats and um, shit just went south on him really fast and he's 12 so what are you going to do the time came uh, couldn't get out of the litter box no more had to um, come home from work and take care of business now here's my why do I hide it in the middle at the you know the six minute mark of the carcass video that four people are going to watch in the next couple days well, because I, I don't want these comments inundated with, I figure this music scares away a lot of the regular folks, and that's okay with me, because it's dark. It's a dark subject, this band, uh, prior to this album, man. I mean, if you've, if you've heard any of their medical, their, their vivisection uh, music or any of that. I've heard it. I don't care for it because it was so, the lyric was so heavy and it was just like hard to, I just didn't get it right. I'm a Pantera guy. I mean, that's I like this because it's, here it's like, I don't, uh, what is that redneck from, uh, mm, they're really heavy as, f oh, Lamb of God, right? So I don't like Lamb of God. But I think Redneck is a bomb-ass tune from Lamb. I, we should do that video. Um, that's a badass motherfucker. We'll see if we can do that next. We'll see if it goes up. Um, then finish with Harry Mack. And, uh, I'm shouting out to my Creek Squad people. Because every day that's my thing. But I got to give that, you know, I mean, I've been doing a shit ton of church And a shit ton of country rap. And I'm not really fishing for clicks as much as I'm fishing for like-minded people in the comments and then we'll we'll figure out where to go after we connect you know the requests that come from the middle of this one oh so is it um uh, we better get back to the song and then I'll then I'll tell you my thing my thing hold on <laughs> just in case you're waiting for what I was saying. So, death, despair, my cat. 
all kinds of sad stuff that ties into uh, the pre-carcass uh, uh, medical uh, music and death metal shit. So, whether the kitty goes to the steel table at the vet or out behind the woodshed, does it matter? I, I guess um, I grew up farm country, so I guess I grew up, you do things old yeller style, um, where the red fern grows, the, just the whole breaking the kid's heart. Now, after 12 years, it was um, doing a service. I personally believe the will is the same. So if I, gosh, I don't want to be a dick, but instead of, this is how I do things. And I think the people who actually sub, they follow along. Some people get lost right away. I'm not sure paying someone else so I can feel good about it all changes the fact that, you know, it was still me, right? That was still my will that took him to the vet. So, um, is it that you just pay for your, so you don't feel bad about it? I don't know. I'm, uh, um, a firm believer in having, um, responsibility for one's own, one, one's own actions. So, um, I'm a woodshed guy. Um, I can tell you that, uh, my my boy felt way less than than the long trip to a vet and a cold table and a pin prick and uh, drifting off. And nothing. He went from on to off. Unfortunately, I mean that's horrible. But then that's exactly all I wanted. You know, treats and eight hours of scratches and love and goodbye. Now, I'm only saying and sharing this because I need a cathartic release because I love my, my little furry buddy. And uh, um, it turns out that metalheads are huge cat lovers. Now, you can look that up. You don't have to take my word for it. Um, I'm assuming it's because when you're starting out your career and you're touring for weekends or short amounts of time, you could leave the cat at home so you can have a pet. Um, also, for some guys who are really practicing their craft, it's a lot easier to have a kitty to pet than a, a pussy to fuck. Hate to be vulgar, but that can be a big distraction from a lot of guys if they're trying to get their craft down. I was neither. I was just a drunk. I got up there and <laughs> threw up and screamed. Videos are on my page, so trust me, I'm not lying. I was an idiot. But uh, so there's a lot of cat lovers. So I figured this is where I would put the, the remorse and the sadness, but also the, the cold, dark truth that sometimes you have to ask yourself, can I raise that cow, give it a name? love it, treat it good. I mean, go all Kobe on it. I mean, massage it, bottle feed it beer, give it the best life it's ever had, and then turn it into a steak and enjoy it. Is that morally wrong to a lot of people? Now, uh, your PETA, vegan, love, and all those for you need not apply. I know the, your answer, so I don't know what the hell you're listening to metal for anyways. You really got to go get a drum circle going and, you know, smoke your patchouli. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, a, yeah, I'm not a salad guy. Salad's the food my food eats. So, you know, I am a carnivore. Um, yeah, I guess what's the moral? Does it? Mm, I don't know. That's why I'm, I'm giving it to the universe as is. Does the vet or the woodshed, does the vet change what you've done or is it just your own personal? <clears throat> See, to me, it's the will. So it's, that's my debate. I, I want to discuss 
do, do they feel like it's not on them anymore? Is it to take away guilt, um, to hide it? And then is, are those connections so cheap to buy off that it works? I don't know. I'm, I'm curious. Cause I, my, my love for my buddy didn't change at all. Right. The act itself was a mechanical, disgusting fact. The feelings didn't waver once. And the memorial I'm going to give them is going to be amazing. So I'm going to keep them around. Not in a weird way. I mean, just in a really respectful way. Make a little, little garden for them and some really cool shit. And I just, so I wanted to get that out there and share. And I don't know, anybody who can handle carcass could probably handle love, death, and a little um, dark facts all in one reaction. And on top of it, I mean, you know, you just don't know, right? You don't know what's happening. You don't know what tomorrow brings, man. You just, you don't. I didn't mean to gender the future. Yo, him, they, that. It dreamkin spirit. You don't know what you're going to be in the next 24 hours. We don't know. We don't know. Weird, huh? What a weird reaction. I mean, if you made it all the way to this point, more power to you. I'm going to give one up to you because, uh, I mean, I don't know if this car wreck would be enjoyable to watch or not. I'm not sure. We're going to find out. I've said this from the very beginning. I'll say it to the very end. The day this shit show, whatever, you know, the day it ends, the day I decide... To hell with it. I'm not, this ain't turning my crank no more. And right now it's, it's, it's looking good. You know, we, the amount of people that actually have intelligent things to say, keep me wanting to show up every day. So that being said, the, uh, the day I give it all up and just say, I'm going back to number one and I'm going to watch them all. For shits, giggles, and prosperity's sake, because I, you know, this is it. If I, I don't know if I've left anything of value left yet. I don't know. I have no clue. I don't know if I get to decide if I leave something of value. <sighs> Sorry. Fuck it. A minute and a half. <clears throat> a minute. I'm not sure the empire some guy builds like my father, which is respectable and uh, respectable homes and uh, um, all. That is something of value. I get it. But as the end of that story is coming to the end, I had a, I have a hard time seeing it as uh, something that will be remembered by anybody. I mean, the housing market, the way it is, it's almost an investment for people. It's not, you know, it's not the house your father built with his hands. So 
I'm, I'm hoping a handful of witty comments or insightful sayings or uh, uh, poignant remarks is as good as a financial empire that uh, someone's just going to dismantle and sell off for parts eventually. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see if there's any value in all this. But man, what a weird reaction, huh? Why did you pick it? I mean, it's weird. It's like, did you waste 20 minutes of your life? Or, or was there something there? I mean, if you're a kitty lover, let me know in the comments. I mean, what would you do? Do you have to do you have to let someone else take care of the pain? Or do you can you take care of it yourself? What are what are your feelings about that? I mean, I I'm grateful that um, for the, all the time I had, and that's the truth. Hey, this has been Tomorrow Belongs to Nobody from Swan Song. The band is Carcass, and wow, that might have been the weirdest reaction you've ever watched in your life. So uh, maybe try the next one to see if, you know, I stop crying about my kitty. Bye.